Hey y'all, welcome to Rooster's Recipe. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three delicious and easy crock pot meals. Also, I wanna say this is in collaboration with three of my really good friends here on YouTube. Mandy from Mandy in the Making, Glamber from Feeding the Birds, and Jessica from Jessica O'Donohue. They are also gonna be sharing some very delicious yummy crock pot recipes. I will leave a link to their videos and channels down below so you can check them out when you get done watching mine. Every single year we do a crock pot collab together. My name is Mackenzie. If you are new here, make sure you stay tuned because there's some really fun parts of this video where you are going to see all four of us together. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video and check out the recipes that I have to share with you. So today in the crock pot, we are making a super easy recipe. It's called crack chicken, Chet Popper out. First thing you wanna do for this recipe is add three chicken breasts to your crock pot. I'm actually going to do four because two of mine are a little bit smaller. Next to the crock pot, you wanna go ahead and add one package of ranch seasoning mix. This is one ounce. All right, next you wanna take about six slices of cooked crumbled up bacon and add that into your crock pot on top of the chicken and ranch seasoning. And for now, we are done. We are just going to cook this on low for about eight hours. Six to eight hours, we'll come back and check on it and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we are about six hours in. So I'm gonna take this chicken out and shred it really quick, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. All right, Alex is gonna shred it with two forks. Normally we would just use the hand mixer, but we just don't wanna fool with all that, so we're just gonna do it like this really quickly. All right, after you have all of your chicken shredded up like that, you're gonna add one eight ounce block of cream cheese. All right, so now we are going to let that cook all together for about 30 minutes on low, and then we're gonna come back and stir it all together and add two more ingredients. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes now. Let's see if the cream cheese is good and ready. It looks like it is. So we're just gonna stir this all together. Okay, so now that you have all of your chicken and cream cheese mixed all together, you are going to pour in one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And try to spread that evenly as possible over the top. We're gonna add in some green onions and this is personal preference, this is actually optional. And we're gonna let it melt for another 10 minutes on low. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and it looks like our cheese is all melted. We are going to eat this cracked chicken on these brioche buns that I got from Walmart. These are the best, you can toast them or not, but this looks absolutely delicious. This is not the first time I've made it, so I know it is so good. Highly recommend. y'all hey so i'm here with mandy from mandy in the making glamber from feeding the birds and jessica and daisy What's may <laughs> and we have something to ask you so does anybody want to play a little game <laughs> We all four made our own pumpkins. If you will leave in the comments whose pumpkin is whose. So it'll give you a little bit better view of all of these. Whose is whose? One, two, three, four. All right, so it's Sunday. This is what I look like on Sunday. We are watching football on the TV. Such a nice Sunday vibe, right? San Francisco and Kansas City are playing, but we are making crock pot lasagna. 
Okay, once you have all of your ground beef browned and drained, you're gonna go ahead and add your onion into the mixture. Then you wanna add about three tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm gonna add in one can of tomato sauce to my ground beef. And then I'm gonna add one 24 ounce can of pasta sauce as well. And then after we add in this pasta sauce, we are going to turn the heat back up on the stove and get this all cooked together. This is going to be your meat sauce for the lasagna. Oh yeah, and don't forget to add your salt and pepper. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and spray your crock pot real good. Go ahead and add one layer of meat to the bottom of the crock pot. All right, now we are going to add in our lasagna noodles. You may have to break a few of them apart for them to fit in. Next, you're gonna take some ricotta cheese and spread it. Then you're gonna take your mozzarella cheese and sprinkle. And then this is one layer. And you are going to repeat until all of your ingredients are gone. I'm gonna say we're probably gonna have about three layers here. All right, so once you're done adding all of your layers, which we ended up with three, you are going to add one can of tomato sauce over the top of your layers. And then you're gonna take one cup of water and you're gonna pour it around the edges of your crock pot, just like this. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some shredded cheddar cheese on the top. Now, I know most people don't add cheddar cheese to their lasagna, or maybe you do, let me know down below. And I'm just using what I have out of the bag. Cover it up really good like this. I'm going to put it on high for three to four hours. You'll just have to come back and check on it and see which works out better. Or you could probably cook it on low for about six hours. And that's it. We will come back later and see what it looks like. All right, it has been four hours and I think it's done just by looking at the edges. So I'm gonna get me out a piece of that. All right, so here is my finished plate and it looks so delicious, I'm about to dig in. All right, so we are starting this recipe really early in the morning. I just got back from taking the girls to school, but today we are making ham and white beans in the crock pot. So we're gonna start off here with a pound or 20 ounces of Great Northern beans, only because that's all I could find. This recipe only calls for one pound. Okay, so we first wanna go ahead and rinse and drain these beans, get anything out of here that you might find like pebbles or anything like that that don't belong before we add these to the crock pot. And this brand actually comes with this ham flavor, so I may actually use this. All right, so let's go ahead and add our Great Northern beans to the crock pot. Okay, for my recipe, I'm just gonna use this anti-no-no seasoning because it has garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and then I'm just gonna add some fresh black pepper. Always measuring with love. 
but I will leave the correct recipe down below. All right, since we're actually using ham in this recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and add this. The directions on the back of the Great Northern Bean say to add this like one to two minutes before you're done cooking, but I'm gonna add this right now because I've gotta put some water in here and just let all those flavors cook together because you're gonna come in in about eight hours and add your ham. Extra seasoning and never hurt a soul. Next up, you're gonna add six cups of water. All right, so once we have all of that in there, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and put this on high for eight hours or until the beans are tender. I'll come in a little bit before they're done and I'll add our ham and let it cook in and heat up with the beans. And I'm thinking we're probably gonna have some cornbread with this meal. Sounds good. All right, so our crock pot has been cooking on low for about seven hours. We are going to come in and check on it. Looks like the beans are looking really good. Nice and soft. Might be almost done, which is good because, yeah, they're really soft. So you wanna add the ham in right before the beans are done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on warm because it's gonna continue cooking just a bit. And then you can go ahead and add in your ham. You can do a ham bone or you can do just like around a pound of diced ham, which is what I'm doing. Add that in there. Let that warm a little bit and you will be done. All right, here we go. Here's our ham and white beans and we made some cornbread to go on the side. I'll probably crumble mine up, but ready to dig in. 